That was good. It's so good. No, it was I'm like a professional clapper. I, you're a bit of a clapper. Yeah. I've got clap. you got clap? Hi guys, welcome back to another Operation Collada update. I've got a few things to bring you guys all the way up to where we're up to now. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So I went and got the vehicle transferred into my name. And in the process of doing that, the car actually got flanked with a couple of defects that I have to get fixed in order to have it road worthy. I noticed that the, there was an aftermarket seat installed into it. The headlights weren't meeting ARD compliancy. And lastly, the wheels stuck out a little bit too far. So first up, the wheels, they stick out too far. We've got to get the old original wheels on. I actually have them right here with me, so that's gonna make it perfectly fine right there. Also with the headlights, they're currently uh, not ARD approved, not ARD compliant. So I need to put new seven inch headlights in that are. And finally, I've forgotten the last one. So I'm gonna pick up this piece of paper, keep talking and look at it, look at it, and then bring it back. Finally, with the seats, because they're not the original seats for the car, the seatbelts need to be checked to make sure they meet the safety standards. So I have to get that checked over. Next up, I did talk in the previous video about the brakes not working. One other thing I wanna do is the brakes on this do not work. It's like you put your foot on the brake, it thinks about stopping, and then it doesn't stop. The rear brakes I went and got tested and they do not work at all. There's a problem with the vacuum booster or the pressure regulator. So I'm gonna to have to try and source one of them in Australia. And if I can't, then I can get it refurbished, but it's gonna be very expensive to get that done. Over to the suspension. Currently, it is very difficult to try and fit airbag suspension under a ladder. I actually took it to a few places to ask them their thoughts and processes. And pretty much everyone came back saying it's too much work and they didn't want to have a bar of it. I looked overseas to see what I could bring in from overseas and it just isn't feasible to do airbag suspension for the ladder. Uh, they've said it's going to cost so much money. There is no room underneath the car to actually fit the airbag suspension in. And there is one place I found in Russia that could ship it out. However, it's just not worth our time, which is very unfortunate. Instead, I'm gonna use that money to invest into other parts of the, uh, the Collada operation project and then we'll hopefully have more fun with it that way. But unfortunately, the airbag suspension is gonna get scrapped from this project. Now to the sound system. Previously, I said I was gonna outsource a lot of things. The sound system was something I was considering. Instead, I'm doing that all myself. I'm gonna make all the back of the car uh, customized however I feel like it. And we're going to putting two 12 inch double D audio subs and probably 3000 watt continuous uh, amp in there to make sure they're running at full power. It's going to be an absolute beast when it comes out with the Gopnik music. Lastly, with the paint job, I'm going to be sending the car away in a couple of days time to get the three out of their stripes down the center. I'll get plenty of footage for that and you'll be able to see that in the next video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this short little update. I'm gonna be trying my best to give you guys as much footage and, and updates as we go along for this Operation Collada project. Uh, but make sure if you haven't already, like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to keep it up to date for all this uh, funky stuff that we're getting up to on this channel. And lastly, I'll see you next time. Give me a cheeky look at the camera.